Welcome folks. Today I'm going to show you guys how to catch a unique smallmouth bass at Nahara River, North Carolina. You're going to want to spawn in the great parking job. And you're going to want to come over here. Um, there's a few ways to catch this and it depends on what you're doing. If you're going for just muddy, uh, you can go with these two spinner baits here and I will leave the conversions. This is America spinner bait three quarter ounce three odd is actually probably slightly better than this blue uh, spinner bait one ounce four odd um, but a lot of people aren't going to have this revolutionary pack to have this now in that these two will both get you trophy largemouth bass and trophy and unique smallmouth bass right here uh, now if you're only going for some unique smallmouth uh, you want to use this one third ounce bass jig here and if you would want you don't have to uh, I didn't notice a big difference but if you want you can actually throw in a uh, nymph on it and, it, and it, it does does work maybe a tiny bit better but I'm gonna throw you show you guys where to throw here um, you're gonna want to go out um, no more than 130 feet and like I said I'll do the conversions for all our metric friends and you can do lift and drop or honestly I let it sink to the bottom and then I do twitching um, and I've had really good luck with that um, this is a very good spot during peak uh, I was really surprised on how good this is um, or you can throw a three-quarter ounce red and white spoon that works pretty too good here too and I'll actually show you here in a second um, what one I'm talking about and this casting spoon three-quarter ounce three out also works pretty well guys just throw it about hundred and thirty feet or a little less you could throw it a 110 if you'd like and uh, it should have no problems catching this unique in a day or two. It's it's not too rough. So hopefully, folks, you had a good time and catch you unique. And hopefully this guide helped you out.